Hello guys and welcome back to the 2019 European Quidditch, no, European Games. European, uh, yeah, European Games, not Quidditch Championship or anything. Games. No, <laughs> there's too many tournaments to stream at and I just keep mixing all the abbreviations up, this is bad. But I'm Gaëlle and I'm here with... Annemieke Drost and what we will not mix up is that we will be watching the game of Team Czechia versus... Team Slovakia. Right, two Eastern countries from Europe. Yeah, from the uh, Eastern side, because so I think they quite know each other well, because I think they both played each other at like the Eastern Games. Oh, at the, the Eastern Games? Yeah, I don't know what it's... Uh, the it's Central exactly. European the Central League? Uh, yeah, I think Austria organized something, and I know that a Slovakian team played there, the Argonauts. And um, the Czechs, I do not know for sure. This is probably the Central European League, and they might play there. I am unsure, but I am sure that this is the tournament name. Uh, I do also know that both of these NGBs started in 2016. They both debuted in Frankfurt. Oh, in Germany. I yeah, know. yeah, also in Germany. So they're back to where they started. Exciting times for them. I think neither of them is likely to play super high. Well, you never know. You never know. There's always you a surprising know. one. This Spain is true. This is true. This is true. Uh, Spain can be. Oh, Spain can be Canada. This is true. This is true. I uh, yeah. I do have to to co to give a, a shout out to one person. I want to give out a, a shout out to Misha, who is always volunteering everywhere except for here because now he's playing. I think it's also the only Czechian person that all we Dutchies all know. Right. Yes. Yeah, so Misha, if you if you are watching this back, we love you. You are great. <laughs> Please return to the Netherlands. We miss yes. you. Yes. <laughs> we miss you. Please come volunteer again. Um, yeah, we just see both teams here throwing some balls, warming up. I'm uh, I'm wondering when the game's gonna start. Officially, I think in a minute or two, but I don't see any balls yet. I don't see any. Uh, Let's just say it will start soon. It will start hashtag soon. Yes. It all is right. an IQA event after all. It I it is an IQA event and after it is all. Quidditch. Yes. We can't have uh, Quidditch uh, without delays. That's right. That's yeah. I mean, this is true. This possible. is true. Uh, let's see if they have any any other fun things. I mean, we have these beautiful cheat sheets. Let's see if there's anything anything interesting here. Um, oh yeah, so for example, Team Czechia is hoping to play Quidditch against France and Norway, which are in their group, so this is likely. I think <laughs> they might have written this when they s knew <laughs> they were going to play against them. Right, yes. Uh, so that's, I mean, I'm glad that they get to achieve their goal of playing against two teams that are in their group. It's an achievable goal. It's always good to set goals that you will achieve, you know? I mean, it's fun playing uh, playing teams that you know you're going to play. Right, yes, this is true, this is true. But uh, Yeah, about Slovenia, they didn't attend EG in 2017 because they didn't have enough budget, so I'm glad they're here now. Yeah, that's... They did find the budget, I don't know. Where did they find it? Uh, under the rainbow? <laughs> maybe under the rainbow. Maybe they followed the leprechaun. This would be nice. This would be nice. I think that would be more the Irish. Uh, yes, yes. But then again, we are two Dutch people and the Irish are not necessarily, uh, you know... If they don't injure our players, I like them. <laughs> they're, I, they're lovely people. I love yeah. the Irish. <laughs> Everybody loves the Irish. Yeah. As long uh, as you're not on pitch with them. Oh, for sure, yes. And I think in the background there we see Scotland and Germany... Yeah, that's Germany. ...gearing up for a game. I think Scotland played their first game ever against Belgium. Oh, that's an interesting first game to be playing against Belgium. That's and I think they didn't even do too badly. Oh. I, you can watch uh, the scores at Quidditch.me. And I think they might even have done quite good for their first game ever. That's quite exciting, yeah. I mean, it's really cool that Scotland can be here due to the new uh, IQA rules that even sub-regions of NGBs can now ascend the team. Yeah, I'm wondering when will we have a North Irish and a Welsh team? I feel like a North Irish team is very, very political topic. Let's not dive let's into let's this. Let's watch that. Let's not dive into this. Um, and what was the other option you mentioned? Um, Wales. Wales. Wales would be good. But I think there's too little Quidditch people in Wales for us for now. Might be, but I also wondered if Scotland had enough and they filled it up. I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's a, a bunch of QPL teams up north as well, so I figured they would probably have enough people. Yeah, but I know that there also are also a lot of Scots that play in the UK and live in the UK, so it might be that they're um, they heritage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also true. This is also true. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
I'm proud of Scotland, though. I'm very excited to see them play. Ooh. But back for us, of course, have the Dutchies. Slovenia is excited to play the Netherlands. Of course they are. Of course because they are. Because uh, with the Harry Potter Festival in Odense, uh, the Netherlands beat them with 10 points. This is true. This is true. This was a, this was a very good moment. This made me very happy. And I mean, of course, everybody loves playing in the Netherlands. It's we are so fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we just? Well, I mean, I say we. You. You're part of us. I, I, am, I am in spirit part of the team. It is just sad I that I somebody mean. who is half blind is not allowed on the national team. I, I <laughs> we, we could have you for moral support. <laughs> moral support. I mean, moral support. I'll and take also that. Then, y then you can be like an angry mom and then everyone will just drop their bludger and give it to you. Right. This is fair. Yes. Oh, Misha is waving at us. This is so cute. Oh, and there is referee Adrienne. Uh, Adrienne, also I very well known yes. in the Netherlands. And is I think this is head ref Ashara Pyrus, who's also a, a good head ref, so that's nice. It's always good to, to see that the best refs come out to uh, to EG. Yeah, I'm just want to say that there is no really a lot of bad head refs. It's just head refs without experience. Let's this is true. Out. This is true. I mean, I would be a bad head ref because I would not see things. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, then you actually have an experience. This experience. is true. This is true. Okay, yeah. So it's nice to see so many experienced head refs. I mean, I think even so two from the US came over, right? Yeah, uh, Kim Couch for sure, and another American, another American guy. I forgot his name sadly, but I mean, even some of our more experienced refs like Chua Brugeling and Pauline Raas, they are live streaming these tournaments. Yeah, because there were so many head refs, I believe. So many head refs, they just didn't know what to do with their head refs. Like, that's a first. I know, right? Oh, and I would also like, now that we have some time uh, before the game starts, to give a shout out to our pitch manager and runner, hashtag Jim Bob. They have made sure that our pitch runs perfectly for the entire day. I am sure that whatever has caused this delay was not Bob and Jim. I mean, you keep giving shout outs to people very well known by the Dutchies, so. <laughs> I mean, biased? I am not at all biased. Also, Bob is somebody from Luxembourg who has played in Germany, so he is well known by the entire Quidditch community. Everybody loves Bob, and everybody will love Jim. Yeah, because Team Jim Bob is the best team. Yes, for sure. Everyone is Team Jim, Jim Bob. Yes. So no, no matter what country you're cheering for. And so I see that the both the teams are huddling up now, so and uh, the balls are there. Balls. Well, so. I'm missing one bludger. Uh, yeah, but I mean, who cares about beaters anyway, right? Not us. <laughs> no, not no. Do we have time to comment on the on the Peter game? I don't, don't know. I mean, maybe. I know what we will have time for: butchering all those names. Yes, oh I will. Would like to apologize to all of our of our friends from the Czech Republic, and to all of our friends from Slovenia for butchering all of their names, because unfortunately, we are not so great at pronouncing Eastern European names. We try. Well, they, they did give a cheat sheet for pronouncing names, but right. to be honest, that's yes. not going to help. Um, I mean, it, it will... We will try. We will try. We do not hate you. And we love them. Uh, we th th their names are beautiful, let's just yeah. say that. But their also names are very beautiful, but we will not pronounce them We cannot pronounce any of them, no matter how beautiful they are. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I see uh, a, a referee entering the live stream area while we are live. I mean, you guys can't see this because you're just seeing an overview camera, but it is... Maybe next uh, next, uh, next games we will um, like stream from, our, from the live stream so you can watch behind the scenes. Right, right. I'm, I'm sure everybody would like to see our sweaty, sweaty faces. Yes, of we course, so and all the right snacks now. we're eating. Right. Oh, well, I think maybe Ashara is assistant refing and not half refing and uh, somebody else, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, this woman, uh, this girl, yeah, there's the head ref. I do not know her name. But Lauren, Lauren is head roughing. I have just been informed by Chula that Lauren is head roughing. Um, also a good ref. I, I mean, I recognize the face. Also a, an experienced ref. Yeah, she refs our first game against France. Oh, nice. She is really good. She sees a lot. Nice, but I love. Also is more like she explains also a lot. It's really nice right. because some rules are really unclear, especially with the new rule. Right. Book. Yes. All right, well, uh, we are getting ready for the brooms up. Both teams are very ready. 
In the distance, we can hear the Germans cheering for the German team, but we will focus on this match and not get distracted. It's hard, no? The keeper just got a broom. Which is uh, nice. Which you is helpful. Those. Yeah. It's always nice when your keeper has a broom. Good job, Czech Republic. Slovenia doesn't have a lot of players, don't they? Uh, I mean, it's a fair amount. Slovenia has always struggled to, to get enough players. They only have one team. Yeah, the Argonauts, right? Oh, there is. Yeah. Broom's up. Oh, that oh was a. Oh, that's a good kick. Good and strategy, yeah. Oh, that was beat before and in the arms of the Czech keeper. So the control. Budget control is with Slovenia. It's an intense beat. And the quapo also. That was a. Oh. I think this was a drive and dodge, where they drive through and then the last moment they pass it off. Yeah, indeed. I could see it very well from where I'm standing, but I hope the hoops will survive. I hope the hoops will survive, but for now, I'm impressed with Slovenia. This was That's a good first run. Yeah, they're getting me scared for later. They yeah. say it's uh. a little fumble, but oh, yeah. But the Beezer game is really, really oh, high for sure. energy. Like, they're ready. I mean, of course they're ready. Well, it's hot. I'm never ready when it's hot. <laughs> the the Quaffle is still with the Czech Republic, though being tackled by Slovenia. Okay. And Czech Republic is slowly moving up. Oh, that was a missed beat by Slovenia. And I think they're doing something like... Yeah, oh. Well, our coach likes to call it the claw offense, where they form like a box um, a box around the hoops, but it's smaller than a German box offense. Right. Like it does really not seem to be working very well yet. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's no goal yet. I think it's more like the Slovenian yeah. people are just really good at defense. They're very uh, physical. Right. And I think the Czechs are slightly smaller. Right. This is true. Yeah. I think we're s seeing uh, cards being given to Borut there. Uh, probably for a two-arm tackle, because I did see him sneak his arm around, but then move out immediately because he realized his mistake. Does he uh, have a background in rugby or something? I am not sure, but he's a very experienced player, especially in Germany. He's played quite some... Yeah, because <laughs> I think I see a lot of ex-rugby players that make the mistake yeah. of yeah. making yeah. the two-arm tackle. Yeah. But I mean, the game is not even two minutes underway, and there's a lot happening. It's really right, exciting. Right, yeah. Let's see, the Quaffle back to the Czech Republic. The head ref putting her cards back into her pocket. Yeah, to Bahotrofa. Live, please. A yellow card to Slovenia number 33 for legal contact to arm wrap. All right, so indeed the card was for two arm tackle by Borut. And now the Czech Republic is very close to the hoops of Slovenia. Let's see if they can capitalize on this card, if they can get through. Ooh, nice pass. Nice pass. Running through. And oh. He just got literally strong armed out of there. Sometimes you need to pass. Right, and sometimes you just need to push it through and then you try and it just doesn't It doesn't, it doesn't always work. work. Unfortunately, no. Yeah. And Slovenia is back with the quaffle. They are slowly advancing. Misha is playing an aggressive beater game there. Yes, of course. I, I think these teams are very closely matched. Yeah, this is a sloppy pass. And it picked up by uh, by the Czech Republic and a beat in the back, but still picked up. Keeper was right on the back. Yeah, that's uh, number one. It's Pavel. Pavel, yeah. Oh, and that's a messy grab by the by the keeper from uh, Slovenia, but he's got it. So that's I mean, all that matters. That's that's a number we do not have on here, so we cannot tell you anything about him. Well, We're this guy sorry. who does not have a number on his cheat sheet also did not manage to score, so. It was karma. It was karma, yeah. You have made bad karma by giving us a bad cheat sheet. Right. This, I mean, this is how life works, yes. Oh, I love how uh, when teams are so sportsmanlike that they even offer water to people from other teams. Yeah, but I think that's... It was the Czech Republic, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that, I mean, like, I would say, say that Slovenia would probably also do that, but I know the Czechs are very, very sweet. Right, yes. 
bike last year. They also went to Bruntislava, which is also really nice. They were one of right. the cutest teams there, but almost all the Eastern European teams are very nice to you. And they were so happy that, you know, people from the West come to Eastern Europe, especially to play Quidditch. Right, really yeah, yeah, that. to play some other teams as well is nice. All right, we see... Lots of community love. The Czech Republic trying to regain larger control, doing a, a sneaky beater, as we call it. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, but the sneaky beater has been uh, has been noticed, and then, but the Quaffle's trying to run through. Oh. He gets beat. Oh, he get no. gets called safe. Oh, Confusing. he's called safe, but he was so... Confused that it ended up in a goal for Slovenia. And this, but this is also a thing. I think the Czechs are too nice. Right. They're like, I'm hit by a bludger. I need to kill a broom. Right. I mean, it looked beat to me, but I, if the ref says it's not beat, it's not beat. I think the beater might have been beat before. Should we check? Right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that. There's so much happening on the field. Let's see who has the quaffle now. Oh. The Czechs. The because checks. there was a score. Right, there was a score. This is a good observation. Yep. But we're too distracted by all the sweet people on the field. Right, so yes. This the love is very difficult to concentrate. And Bludger Control is still with... Slovenia. Slovenia, yeah. Ooh. They're playing some aggressive beater game. Yeah, but also Slovenia is. Yeah, both of them are quite evenly matched. Oh, that was a YOLO beat, as we would call it in <laughs> the Netherlands. Um, I think it was m better placed than most Dutch YOLO beats. Okay, this is true. Oh, and another broom's down. I have no idea after what. Probably a delayed penalty? Might be, but I didn't see the arms of the rest. So that was focusing on the quaffle game this time instead of on the people. Right. I don't know. There was a hug from two quaffle players. So the two keepers hugged each other. So maybe... Maybe they maybe something went down. Oh, you never know. I think there's no call made. Whoa. No, they continue playing. Oh, I love it when two oh, of those balls are just next to each other again. on the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's oh that was a solid beat. Yeah. What is this thing with running into bludgers? Don't run into bludgers. Yeah, because I'm not going to pronounce her last name for that beater, but that's Sarah. And she's apparently, she's very new. Oh, Boro just ran it right through. Yeah, but and also is stuck in the hoops. What did oh you no, say that about that's the hoops? A, yeah, a Czech player stuck in the hoops. That's a, that can happen like this. We should not do that. Yeah. Also, off screen for you guys, there's some uh, squaffling going on about uh, some off pitch bludgers, out of boundary bludgers, but uh, yeah. But please keep them away. <laughs> this is probably why Borut could uh, could run through, because is there any bludgers in the defense by the Czech Republic? I do not see any. I, thi I think, yeah, Sarah still has one. Right. Then I think the Czechs also might have one. Yeah, well, there's there's oh, uh, there's here. two here out of the boundary, and then there's one here with uh, with number 19, isn't there? Yeah. So then, that that is three. So there was none in the in the Czech defense, which would explain how easily Borut could just run through. Yeah. So do we know why the the game is stopped right now? I think they were unsure if the uh, score was good. There were maybe were some um, calls made, but I'm right. not sure either. Right. Maybe right. they were just like us scared for the hoops for all the equipment. Okay. I mean, I, as far as I know, there have already been a lot of butchers that uh, died. Oh, right, yeah, I saw a butcher being ripped in half the other yeah. day. Yeah, the other, like, another slot. All right, well, the game is uh, restarting. But it's hot and hot rubber doesn't do well. Yeah, no. The Czechs picking up, oh, almost picking up a bludger, but still not quite. Slovenia should be pressing here. Yeah, but I'm really impressed by that number 19 beater from Slovenia. She's really putting the pressure on. Well, she is very, very new. Sarah. Sarah. Last name we will not try, but Klocic? Sarah. Uh, we do not know. All right. Well, currently the uh, Slovenians oh. are running somewhere, going places. Oh, that was a good interception. Good interception, yes. And a bad pass. Yeah, also a bad, pa bad pass. That often coincides, like a bad, pa bad pass, I good interception. Uh, Slovenia has a really tight defense, and the Czechs just can't get through. Yeah. They might have to force something. I'm also seeing some more physical players, I believe, being put on the field. All right, let's see if how that plays out. There's some aggressive beating going on. Yeah, the bludgers are thrown really, really hard. But there's just a the keeper running yeah. through. And that's again. <laughs> do who? Don't do it. <laughs> oh, look at them helping each other up. I mean, these teams probably know each other very well. Right. I mean, they're so close by. Right. Poor hoop. At least the hoop's also being helped up. Ooh, delayed penalty. Delayed penalty. Oh, that's exciting. Mm, Adrian, yeah. tell us. Who would get a card? 
so many options, so many possibilities. We saw nothing of this. So ah, I see a last name I can pronounce. David Gobo, number one for Slovenia. Holding a beautiful blue bludger. Yes. Oh, the head ref is walking very, very far. It's uh, for a Czech beater. A Czech beater, yeah. Unfortunately, we have no idea why, right? No. I guess we'll not. find out in a second why. The head ref will tell us. Right, All yeah. All the secrets. All the secrets, all the secrets. It's a blue. It's a blue. blue to cards. number four? Yep. Yeah, also not on the on the paper, is it? No, it isn't. Oh, yeah. Do people change numbers? Maybe alternates. It's mm. a blue yeah, card uh, this to might be the a, Czech Republic, situation. number 47, uh, yeah, for legal yeah. interaction, double kick. <laughs> a double I kick. That's uh, uh, what our viewers have just heard, and I'm repeating it for you, so you also hear it. Yeah, so, uh, you can't kick the ball twice in Quidditch. Right. I have also in sometimes done this. It happens by accident sometimes. Yeah, I used to play football, so I also have done <laughs> this. Because like it feels sometimes very natural. <laughs> Just like, kick it! Oh, kick it again! I didn't kick it quite well. Yeah. Well, let's see how Ooh, very Slovenia intense. now advances over the pitch. Just are quite deep into uh, in the field already. Yeah, but there are no bludgers on the Czech side. No worries. Oh, the bludgers all the way behind the hoops of the Slovenians. Yeah, because well, it's another hoop. But what kind of happened is that um, one of the Slovenian beaters stole the be uh, beater of the uh, the bludger, mm -hmm. of the Czech beater, and threw it all the other side of the field, picked up his own bludger again, and then moved back. Right. So that's a very smart way to create no bludger situation. This is, uh, yeah, impressive. Why is play stopped? The play is stopped quite often, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also very, very intense. They both don't want to lose. Right. I mean, obviously, yeah. These th th the game could go either way. Maybe the Czechs may, uh, may come back later in the game because they have more subs. Right. And it is very hot in here, so it I don't know how warm. well the Slovenians will do. It will be quite tough for the Slovenians to, to keep their pace, maybe. But I mean, who knows? They might be super fit. They might be more fit than I am. I would not be able to run in this weather, but... I mean, I hope they are very fit. I mean, it's European games. Right, this is true, this is true. But it's also, even uh, football, it's like the Women's uh, World Cup are complaining that you shouldn't play on the hottest of the day. Right. <laughs> and oh, their Quidditchers are way more badass. <laughs> As you can <laughs> see right here, beautiful contact, but... From the back, you shouldn't do that. Not never from the back, no. Let's see. This is a this is a complicated situation, but the Czechs still have the quaffle. Ooh, very oh. physical. Yeah, and a beat, and another rooms down. Yeah, but advantage was called for because of the contact from the back. I think it will be a quaffle turnover. Again. Right, right. Sometimes it's nice if you know the rules. <laughs> I mean, I am technically head ref qualified. Yeah, but we're gonna just say that this is too far away, and you just can't see it. The right. little purple advantage marker. Right. Yeah, yeah. Also, the 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 screen that we have to preview is right in front of where the situation happened just now. So, oh, that's seventy one. Taja, Taja, Taja. Their it's best a yellow female defending to chaser. Slovenia, so this might be contact, interesting for Czech Republic. If your best female defending chaser is out of the field. Maybe they're just all really good, and she's just the best. I mean, this is true. Uh, oh, and apparently her surname literally translates to Potter, which oh, that's is funny. That is, yeah. I mean, do people actually translate surnames? Yeah, for Harry Potter, they they oh translated yeah, a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. so she they translated. Oh. Yeah, prob this probably. Is smart. Yeah. Well, let's see. I see some some talking going on. Yeah, because that number two for Slovenia is also really close. Right. Oh, Sabino it's the question of who gets the the ball. Yeah. So the ball goes to the Czech Republic. Yeah, but she was beat and off broom, so. Interesting. Yeah, but maybe an advantage call, you get it back, I'm not sure. I have no idea either. Uh, but she has the ball anyway. Let's see if she can make this happen. Oh. No, she cannot. No. There were two I mean, chasers two there, chasers. one beater. No. Yeah, that's... Maybe a reset would have been smarter there. I think the reset might have been too hard because there were um, a lot of people in front of the hoops. So that's was also risky. true. There's just not a no, no way to win that kind of situation. And here we can see the reason why you catch with two hands. You can definitely see that, and they did not do this. This is uh, too bad. Too bad. It would have been such yeah. a beautiful goal. Yeah, it's always sad when you uh, when you see an an attack that is going places, and then in the end it like swerves left, and you're like, oh, yeah, you missed point there. Especially when it's like super nice and clean passing, right. because that's sometimes a problem in Quidditch. I mean, the passing here has been uh, very nice. Oh, and another brooms down. 
right. I think something's wrong. Something is wrong with the score? Oh, this might be a possibility. I have no idea how many people scored when I was too... Uh, too involved with the game. Right, yeah, that's like the simple things that I cannot keep track of. Yeah, but the game is so much more than just scoring goals. Right, right. There's uh, some intense discussion going on. Some confused players. Some refs drinking water. It's all very important things. Hydrate yourself with this Hydrate weather. Hydrate yourself with this weather. Yeah, I mean, none of the people watching this are outside in the sun, probably. But inside, it's hot as well. Okay, if you are inside and you haven't had water for about you know an hour or two, maybe grab a glass now. Some brooms down. You Fresh can yourself. You can make it back before the game starts again. Maybe get some food as well. It's almost lunchtime after all. It's time for snacks. Time for snacks. Yes. Sports is better with snacks there. S watching sports is always better with snacks. I can. Yeah, I can affirm this. Yes, yeah, jokes we can't eat. I mean, yes. Pray for us. Y it is very sad, but I mean, it's we're about already at seven minutes. It's only like fifteen minutes more game. After that, we. I can am eat. looking. Is that Hank? This is Hank. Yes, guys. In the background, you can see a beautiful. Oh, the game has started, but you can see a beautiful unicorn. It's He's Hank. called Hank, and he is great. But we will have to get back to the game where the checks are moving up the pitch, and that's a beat in the back of the head. That was ball was on the floor for quite a Ooh, while. Ooh, that number eight, super intense. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a good run. Ooh. She scored uh, Marqueta, and uh, well, that was uh, good we love a good job, Marqueta. Good female chaser. Yeah, and now there's another moves. <laughs> then we can focus again on Hank. <laughs> yeah, we I don't mean, see Hank right now. you it's guys so can't see Hank, so we can't talk about Hank. But we can talk about how this game has quite a lot of stoppages. Yeah, but I think both teams are very physical, and I don't think they really don't want to lose. Right, yeah. Because I think um, either, both of them have to play either France or Norway, and I think that might be tough games. Right. I mean, they also have to play the Netherlands. <laughs> but we're very scary in orange. Yes. So this game might define where it's very... Where they land. Right. Important game. Of course, I can't officially say this is playing for the Netherlands, but I think Slovenia might actually have a really good chance against us if they keep this up. Oh, for sure. They're playing a really good game today. Yeah, they, they're having their tournaments. Uh, let's they're see. also really eager. <laughs> they are very eager to win this. <laughs> let's see. Are we, are we getting to another brooms up? I hope so. Yeah, but I think there was some confusion. Yeah, I'm also confused. I'm confused about the confusion. Has this ever happened to you? Yeah, very often with Quidditch. Right, okay. Oh, beautiful hoop. Yeah, just a nice, solid pass. A pass, a sol solid goal. I, uh, you would call it a shot, I think? Uh, you would call it a shot, maybe, yes. But I do not know many words. If it hadn't been th through the hoops, it would have been a beautiful pass. Yes. But it was through the hoops. So it was shot. straight and nice. I like gay better. <laughs> <laughs> Excuses, it's All hot. Right. Our humor will only get worse in the <laughs> right. match. Oh, we've seen it. We see the Czech flag flying. That's nice. Oh, and oh, we also and see a trolls. A goal. Uh, they hit the, the the top part of the hoop and then through. Yeah, I mean that Lucky was supposed shots. to be a pass, so that you can call a pass. Right. This was a pass, but goal. Those I are mean, the best kinds of goals. I mean, another the beat, another beat in the back. I think the Czechs are too chaotic. The wings are too far back. Yeah. They need to come back and help. Oh, but that was a, a beautiful contact. contact that made oh. the, the Slovenian lose the ball. Hey. Why did they get it back? Because the keeper dropped it. Right. This is a, this is a bad call. When you are in the keeper zone and you are defending, do Never not drop the ball. Drop the ball. I cannot recommend this. No, but I think they heard the whistle from the other pitch. Oh, right. I, it happens sometimes. Pop love. You just hear a whistle and you're like, drop everything. Yeah, I mean, we did that as well once. Sucks. Right. It's yeah, it sucks and it, it happens, but you ca you can't really do anything about no. it. I mean, there's still ooh, moving up the pitch and the controls back I mean in the Czech Republic, and there's a no bludger situation. Please, please capitalize on this. Make this happen. Hey, Was this a goal? This is a goal. I hear people yelling. I guess it's a goal. I didn't see I it. I hear to whistle as well. I think. Right. Okay. Well. And the score chase before it started. Yeah, I, that was a goal. It's nice when there's a when there's a no blooded situation and something actually happens. Yeah, because it's often you hear everyone yelling no blooders and then the chasers just stand there like, "Is something going on? I hear words from from Peters. What is this? What yes, is a ball? Chasers, if we say no bludgers, you run. Oh, and there's another oh. tank from this. Big, big player. 
I'm I, Slovenia. I'm really disappointed about that because they had some super nice passing at the start of the game. Right. But maybe this is them indeed getting tired. Right. Yeah. And then you you gotta you gotta do what you do best, and if that's tanking, then that's tanking. I'm I also, also um, slightly unsure about score forty fifty. Uh, apparently, if that's a score, that's a score. We'll see. I we also won't discuss the score. Right. <laughs> While the, the Czech Republic is slowly moving up the pitch, I want to give a, a shout out to Anna, the chaser number fourteen from the from Slovenia, who is also in the committee. Yeah, Anna Blast. I know. Yeah. I have her trading card. Playing committee is always impressive. Yeah, and especially playing without that many subs. I've seen her a lot in right. play. Yes. Ooh, great. There's a no the beater situation again. Let's see. But also a no quaffle situation. And that doesn't <laughs> help when you have no beater, no quaffle. <laughs> <laughs> Slovenia is moving up the pitch again. Very slowly with bludger control. Oh. Yeah, the bludger control keeps mo keeps switching around. Yeah, but the beaters are all very energetic, very like aggressive. It's very interesting to watch. Right, let's like see. Baldwin is trying to, to get his way through. That was being stopped. But this is why we are distracted so much. Oh, but there goes oh. Bolwood running oh. to, to the hoop, but not quite through. Oh, oh that was a sad pass. Oh, but Anna shot. is not going to give up. Oh, yeah. I think that uh, was uh, a little bit messy. I hope everybody over there is okay. I think it was just people diving on each other. Right, it happens. Right. It happens. <laughs> I'm a bit sad about that messy bunch of uh, passes? I'm not even sure if I would call them passes. I think, they were, I think they were attempts at shots. Right. But they were placed too high and therefore look like weird little passes. Right, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what it was, but I was not very impressed. I mean they had done better this game. Right. We've seen it. Right. Please don't get tired, Slovenia. We love you. Well and about you're actually seeing that the Czech Republic is getting back in the game. Right, that's quite nice, yeah. So it might actually be that they, um, that it is that they have so much subs. Right. They can actually yes. overpower Slovenia. This would be this would be nice to see to see if the dynamic changes a little bit. I think we're getting uh, an explanation of cards. It's a yellow card yes, to yellow. the Czech Republic number eleven for illegal contact sliding into a player. Uh, apologies, I uh, just dropped a piece of cucumber on the floor. I, uh, I'm i not sure if I can eat a cucumber on stream, actually, or if it will make too much noise. I will just talk, and then you can remove the microphone from your mouth. Right, yes, this is a, this is a smart idea. Me not talking? Whew. Whew. Mika, that's shut up. What? Ooh. <laughs> and now I can say all the bad stuff about her because I can't say anything back. <laughs> back to the game, I guess. Luckily, I eat very fast. We see here. Ooh, beautiful pass. This was some nice passing. And but a late penalty. Yeah. So much keeps happening and I keep not seeing all of it. I think it's beater game again. Right. Oh, and I think some of the players already thought he was a brooms down, others didn't. This was a Someone put them down. Too early. I this think happens. They were they're too too nice again. Too nice. Right, right. How dare they be so nice? They should be more mean. We can't handle this. So that is super confusing when everybody's so nice all the time. Oh, look at them. They're being again so nice. Look at this. Oh. Offering water to each other. I can't handle this. Even if it wouldn't be so insanely warm, I would still be melting right now. Just out of cuteness. Ah, now you have stuff in your mouth. Now I can say stuff. Sorry, I have to eat. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you are playing, so you're excused. I apologize to all the viewers at home. See, I guess we're getting another card to number 11 from Slovenia because he seems to be um, I wouldn't say arguing with a ref because you should never argue with a ref he seems to be discussing things maybe he doesn't know the rule for which he's getting a card right right I mean there are very many rules yeah and some of them are quite confusing like the boundary ones right yes I don't like all almost all of them are confusing <laughs> okay maybe to smart people like you Gael they are very clear so simple peasants like me, they confuse I think they're very clear if you know more sports than Quidditch. Right, okay, enough shade. Let's go back to the game where there is less shade and a <laughs> lot of sun. So much sun. So much sun. Maybe we should go on pitch and throw some shade. Right, yes, this would be helpful for the players probably. I think they would appreciate a little bit of shade. They're too nice, they can't handle our shade. Right, right. I am impressed by how they're they're still keeping the, the game pace quite it's high. It's a yellow card. 
to yeah, Slovenia I mean, number 11 uh, for disrespecting a referee. I guess this was a yellow card for ignoring referee calls. I think he already got a warning for that. I, uh, I oh, saw that. Thomas Plesko, how dare you, Thomas? Thomas, behave. listen to your refs. Yes. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Let's see. Oh, this is a very fast drive. But he stopped. Into some players. That was a pass, I, I think. I mean, that was a pass-ish. And Ooh, a beautiful interception by Borut. Let's see what Borut's... Yeah, but even Borut would not run into Misha. a double beater situation. And Misha was standing very threateningly before the keepers are like, dare to get out of this. Yeah, Misha is scary when he wants to be. And they're just fast. Lynn is trying to get around it. And I think they're going to make it, but I'm unsure. I don't see a lot of changes beautiful actually pass. behind the hoop. Yeah, beautiful pass from Anna, though. Ooh, and the hoop. Was this a, was this a goal? Yeah. All right. I definitely di was not distracted by Misha picking up a bludger right in front of us. Yeah, but you're a beater. You're getting distracted by that. Right, yeah. Like I just keep seeing the beater play. There's some beautiful beats going on outside of what you guys can see right now. Double beats. And I may think all the bludgers are... Oh no, where are all the bludgers? There's yeah, one bludger lying the all the way in the keeper zone from Slovenia. Yeah, I would also fight for the bludgers closer by, to be honest. Right. Oh, Ooh. that was Bolva trying to run through but not quite managing because of a beater. But really, the beaters are carrying this game. <laughs> the beaters are carrying this game for sure. This was some fumbles. Fumbles and stumbles. Borut handling this uh, quaffle beautifully yet again. Does she ever do it differently? No, you are right there. I apologize. Borut, you always do this beautifully. Oh, but that, that was, was a bad pass. No, yeah, I, I take this back. I jinxed it. Back. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. There's no woods to knock on. Right. In the background, we also see the Germans running away, who I assume have won from Scotland. I, I don't, I would say that it's a mean assumption, that it's, it's logical. Right. That's it's their second game or something ever against Germany. Yeah, I think we just saw uh, a chaser attempting to pass to a beater. Because this was a, a very sloppy pass from a Slovenian I mean, to the left. Maybe he has a sunstroke. That would be bad. I hope not. And this is some messy, messy passing around uh, the offense from the Czech Republic. To be honest, the more they get into the game, the messier it gets. This is true, yeah. I, we saw some beautiful, clean strategy from both the teams at the start of the game. But the hotter they get, the tired, more tired they get. I the think they just sort of gave up. The more it reminds me of Dutch Quidditch, yeah. Oi, oi, oi. I get to throw shade about my own NGD, okay. It makes me sad. Oh, this was a beautiful... No, I look beautiful, but apparently... Uh, it I wasn't beautiful. No, it looked beautiful, but it wasn't. Sometimes this happened. Oh, I think maybe the goal turned before the, the ball had passed oh, managed to pass through. Out. A timeout. Oh, yeah, we're only at 14 minutes. Yeah, I guess... Uh, yeah, apparently uh, some of our volunteers here are giggling because the, the, uh, the head referee asked the table for a time check. But we currently have... You guys cannot see it currently, but we have a beautiful uh, LED scoreboard at the li at the table uh, from the timekeepers opposite the live stream booth. But it does take time to get used to because I was also surprised. Like, I can actually see the time? Right, yeah, it's Twice. beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. So the LED screen is connected to the app made by... Um, Oh, I forgot his name. Lukas Schervens, I think? I think it was a Lukas, yes. Yeah, Lukas Schervens, a German guy who uh, developed the, the Quidditch.me website as well. So the, the timekeepers just use this app, and they fill in the time, or they start the time, they fill in the scores, they fill in the cards, and uh, then it just appears on this LED that Lukas built. I think Lukas built it as well. If somebody else built it, I apologize for not giving you the credit. I think we can say safely that it's probably a German. Right, it is probably a German. And it even showed the countdown time from the timeout. Isn't wow, that fancy? That's very fancy. very fancy. You would almost say this is a professionally run tournament. You would almost say so, right? But I, I do love it when people turn Quidditch and their hobbies into one and then make it into something more beautiful. Yeah, of course. But 
can see that this is not a beautiful uh, a professional tournament because we are commentating. I mean, Gael, no shade. To More shade. We have enough shade. We are standing in a beautiful professional tent. We are watching beautiful Quidditch. That's us. We do not of need I, any I'm shade. I am trying to change the Dutch. It's very bad looking. Right. Uh, I'm not used to talking English with you. I ap yeah, I apologize. I feel like if we would start speaking in Dutch, we would lose a significant portion of our uh, viewer base. I, I know there's a lot of Germans think Dutch sounds cute. But back to the game. Yes, let's get back to the game and not to how many Germans, Germans have told me that Dutch just sounds like a German being very drunk. <laughs> that was a fumbly pass. And Maybe the players are drunk. <laughs> oh, but that was also fumbly. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Fumble, 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 fumble. Back to Czech fumble. More fumbles. More fun. The Czech have outfumbled the Slovenians. Is that isn't that the definition of Quidditch? Maybe, maybe, Sometimes. maybe. I'll get back to you on that in um, let's say ten minutes when the game has ended. Here we Ooh. see a little bit more coordination in the passing game to a troll. Oh, oh. a little bit too high. No, not too high. I think her. Um, no catching technique, she didn't form the W with her hands. Right, okay. I mean, I couldn't quite see that from here, but there is a, a big Trying drive. Trying to run into a bludger, you shouldn't do that. Never, no. Unless you're a beater, then it's fine. I have number six again, but that was blocked. an attempt at, I don't know what. An attempt at <laughs> playing Quidditch. <laughs> was it even an attempt at something? Maybe it was an attempt at fumbling. <laughs> then he managed almost. Oh, that's some aggressive contacting. Oh, yeah, he got hit yeah, in the face. He got, that was not very pleasant. That, uh, yeah. That's a card. Uh, yeah, you do that right in front of the head ref. Right, yeah. You if, you, if you do something naughty, at least don't do it in front of the head ref. You do it in front of the assistant ref, they might not see it. Right, yes. Uh, though all the assistant refs here are quite experienced, so if you do something naughty in front of them, uh, they will probably also see it. And also, don't do naughty things, kids. Be nice, play nice, be sportsmanlike. This is a second yellow? I've been informed this I is a second I yellow. I think this was told. I've, uh, there's, there's some confusion here in the live stream tent about second yellow. We will see in a second when and the head tell us her this. secrets. Yes. She will first tell it to the, to the score table. And then That's we can second wait. Jello. Yeah. Let's see what the card was for, actually. It's a yellow card to Slovenia number 71 for illegal contact to the neck. Second yellow, so red. Contact around the neck, very naughty. Should not do that, but second no. yellow. Only contact people around the neck with consent, okay? And off the Quidditch pitch. Right. On the pitch, there is never consent for contact around the neck. Because there is pre-established rules that this is not allowed. You should not break those. I mean, you can try, but explain it to the head ref, I guess. Right, yes. And I think the head ref will have no mercy, as yes, uh, our head ref did not. Lauren was her name, right? I think so. Good job, Lauren. Good card. Here we see um, some uh, aggressive turtling. Yeah. And this is very, very impressive turtling. Sometimes turtling is the best option. Yes. If you need to be a turtle, be a turtle and be a turtle convincingly. Yes. And sometimes be like an alligator turtle and snap. Snap? Like they have these little beaks and then they snap a bit. Right. Right. Do not bite people though. Just no, and, and clear. please not like an alligator turtle because they bite people's fingers off. Oh, that does not sound fun. Do not bite people's fingers off on pitch. Also not off pitch, please. Also not off pitch, please. No, meanwhile, there's some fumbles going on in the many directions. I think there is mostly a lot of fumbling because the beaters are really on their game. Right. I just quickly had to stop a bludger here from running all the way off pitch. Um, we, we almost had a bludger. We, yeah. So I, I mean, it's nice. They, I, obviously, the players just want me to play as well because they're so sad that I don't get to play at international tournaments anymore. Yeah, I mean, you would have been fine with Slovenia. Let's not get into that and look at the game again. Let's see who has the quaffle. I, I think you might not have been aggressive enough, though. I mean, their beater game is really high energy, and they have a lot of bludger control. Yeah, there's the, the bludger control keeps switching left, right, left, right. You're just too nice. <laughs> That's the first time somebody has ever said that to me. <laughs> Let's true. see. Oh, the snitch is on pitch, by the way. And he's I have dancing. I have no idea who this snitch is, but 
he looks like a very happy snitch, and I love a happy snitch. Ten seconds to snitch. And a lot of fumbles again around the hoops from uh, the checks. No goal. But if it's fumbles around your own hoops, then it's fine. Right. I guess the checks out fumble the Slovenians again. Though they are not up in score, so. No, it's been very. Balls have been a very good defense. And as you say, it, you jinxed it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the Seekers have been released. We totally missed that as well. Yeah, but the fumbles were so intense. Right. And Misha is seeking. But where are the beaters for the checks? I have no idea where the beaters are for the checks. But I think, because I think, like, giving number nine, and that is Jakob. Yeah. Giving him time on snitch might be very dangerous, especially with this score. Oh, for sure, yeah. But I mean, I see a lot of beater action going on around the snitch. It's just difficult to... I mean, this is the game of the beater action. We've this is the game of the beater lot. action. Yeah, I mean, we see one of the main beaters from Czech Republic, Misha, also being their seeker. So that might be difficult for them in their beater game. I don't know. I think their beater game was very strong. This, this is entire true. Game. This is true. So Misha is clearly good, but not carrying. He has taught his players well. He's also I, th I think he's coaching, right? I, he has at least coached in the past. I'm not sure about right now. Um, I, I know he was a coach last year. Right. Well, meanwhile, number nine is having some sweet, sweet alone time with the snitch. I mean, sweet alone time with the snitch is always fun. It's always fun to have some sweet, sweet alone time with that snitch. I mean, this snitch looks like a lovely guy to, to spend some time with. I mean, he looks happy. Cheerful, good Feels personality. It. Athletic. Athletic, always important. I mean... You have some... Less like snitches, but they can throw people around. He's running. I mean, you also just have the bi the big snitches who, uh, yeah. Who just lift up your seeker and throw them to the other side of the pitch. Right. Meanwhile, the ball is also going to many sides of the pitch. Well, this was a, this a is very not intense tackle there uh, to the to the Czech player. Yeah, that is. Oh, that's Charles for checks. I think he played for the Worms, right? Charles has played in the Netherlands before, yes. Uh, th some three, four years ago, before my time. Oh, this was a goal by Slovenia, I think. Yeah, that uh, means no, that be no beaters. Right. Then that means that the checks are now only in overtime range. I think that's still very commendable of them. Right, yes. But it, it is sad when you, within snitch on pitch, pull out of snitch range. Yeah, that's very, very painful. Yeah. Especially, might be demotivating for the seeker. Right, for sure, yes. And the... Ah, oh, he's going to sub, but not now. Right, he's gonna... And then here we see the Czechs trying to, to move up the pitch again, but losing the ball. But the Slovenian defense is really tight. Misha is trying to catch from over for overtime over there. And also trying to dodge a bludger, but if you do that too soon, you won't dodge it. Right, and there we have, and the Slovenians probably also have the quaffle somewhere right now. Yep, number six again, driving up the pitch. That's a new Slovenian seeker. I missed that. That's Vit. That's an easy name. Oh, and Slovenia has scored again, now pulling out of snitch range. Oh, and that's interesting that number 10 for Slovenia used to play beater. Oh. But he's now a keeper. Oh, that's an interesting switch. Oh, he's not walking. Uh, Ooh, that's, oh, that's a knee. he probably Ooh. hurt his knee. Yeah, oh, that's sad. Oh, but that hurts looking at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, he has a he has a sub. Ooh. Oh, that's Verena. Verena. Uh, I have played with Verena at LXG. She is a ferocious player. I mean, I can see it. She sees that snitch and wants it. Was it? No, Ooh. I think it might have been quit camp actually. I'm not sure where I played with Verena, but, but at some point they're out of swim. Yes, so Verena is just going to ho maybe, hopefully, but I think capitalize they also on this. switched to a defensive seeker, I believe. Right. Ooh, they... Uh, the beater came beats. around, Verena is not looking very well, and this looks like, yeah, defensive seeking. I mean, you have to. You want to win. You want to win. You can win. There is no cold catching on day one. Also not on day two. There's no cold catching at EG. I well, okay. I'm sorry that the Dutch just attempted a cold catcher I think last also game. Also, one of these teams called cops against okay. Dutch or Norway. Okay. Apparently, there is cold catching. I apologize. Uh, let's get back to the game and not into controversial topics here. Again, number six carrying that quaffle. He oh, but and uh, passing Czech? it to Borod, who immediately gets beat. Do not pass the yeah. chasers next to a beater. Yeah, but it was impossible to not pass to a chaser next to a beater. Right. Because but there's just a ton of beaters. Right, this is another ball into the live stream area. Oh, now we can also have a quaffle. 
I uh, I love it when uh, when I get to touch a quaffle. It never ha does not happen that often. Yeah, it's like a special feeling, right? Right. Yeah, it's like a devil ball, and you pick it up, and you're like, whoo. Ooh, bad, bad vibes, bad yeah. vibes. But it's nice every once in a while to feel the bad, to feel like the it's exciting. It's good to be bad. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that. No being naughty with Quidditch. Oh, this is an aggressive, aggressive defending, defending seeker. seeker, but she has been I think she has been out. running oh, also through the hoops and back right. like yeah. 10 times. It's so exhausting. Slovenians now not making that many goals anymore. No, but they also they lost one of their leader. Like th that one right. is on snitch. Right, yeah. Which I mean is a good call probably right now because they want to they want to catch that snitch now and save some energy. Yeah, but it's really th especially the beater game around snitch. Right. Also it's very intense. They're just making beats left and right. These people are must be getting really tired in the sun. But all those beaters should get MVP. Right, I am so proud of all the players right now. Yeah, but I think Slovenia has really pulled ahead. Yeah, yeah, Snitch yeah. Snitch on pitch. No, for sure. Um, do you, I haven't quite seen why. Uh, do you know? Um, I think they have a more physical play, so they can lose their beaters, actually. Right. So their beaters can focus while the Czechs really need their beaters for um, breaking up the passes around the hoops from the Slovenians. You might be right there, yeah, yeah. I'm just like look at the score, like oh wow, yeah, they 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 pulled out, they pulled up quite a. If I were to check for public now, I think I might actually just catch for, for um the morale. They have more games to play. Right, right. If they really work it out, they might actually win from the Netherlands. Right. They need to really work really hard for it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I would do if I beat coaching them right now. I feel like maybe I just wouldn't would want to keep on fighting. Yeah, that's also, but if you drag on matches like this, with this heat. Right. I mean, that is why we, for some games, we really couldn't win, went for the catch. Right. Because if you stand in this heat for 30 minutes. It breaks you. It breaks you, you have two games to go. Right. I'm just cold catching. Yeah, I mean, my team also cold catches. I can't, I can't, yeah. I mean. From the outside, it always looks like... A Mm, but then I understand when you're on the field, sometimes it is really the best decision. So sometimes it's the best option just for the morale of your team. Like right. a snitch catch is always nice. A, a, a catch is always nice. I mean, that's just that your seeker was the better one. Right. And your beaters were the better one. Right, yeah. I mean, do we have... Misha is back on pitch here, so I mean... I think he's back on pitch as, as a seeker. seeker yeah. yeah, so... I mean, he might be actually going for it. Let's see if he is. And let's also keep a small look at the quaffle play. But no bludgers. Oh, but it was a bad pass. But the fumble, the the the, s the checks did not outfumble them yet. No, but the um, they're still defensive seeking actually. Yeah, I think they changed their strategy. Their strategy actually because the uh, bludgers were on quaffle. Right. Both of them. There's some intense beater play going on around Snitch, even though there were no seekers. Yeah, I'm. Not and this is uh, number one again. Pleasure control. Running all the way through a lot of people, and then, oh, fumble again. Yeah, I think the it's what the Slovenians do, is having a very compact defense. Right. So you have to um, spread out around the hoops and try to pull it open. Right, and if you pass anything over the hoops, next to the hoops, they just have it. Magnets, whoop. Little magnets in their hands. Yeah. Ball magnets. But it's also, um, the checks play with a very compact offense as well. Right. So it might actually be a very smart call from the uh, Slovenians. Right, yeah. Because I think they played a different defense before. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure. I am also not quite sure. I also see uh, quite some Norwegians standing around watching this. Are they in the same group? Yes, right? Yeah. I think they have a might have a game after this. Oh, okay. I am unsure of the true. game schedule. That was oh, true? This through? This is surprising. Yeah, because the keeper was, I think, was trying to catch it, and it right. bounced off his hands. Oh, wait, was it an own goal? Can we call it an own goal if you had never controlled the ball? It was the universe. It was the universe once right. it got caught through the hoops. Right. Ooh, that was a I'm not sure dive. what the universe is saying about uh, this this seeker game here. I mean, I'm okay with them slightly stretching the game, I'm, but I'm not okay with not being able to play next year. Let's see. Oh, but they did not score. 
the no, Slovenians. But, but I think the Czechs also trans changed something in their defense. I don't know what though. I, I am also not sure what, but it's, it must be something because suddenly the, the Slovenians are not getting through anymore. Maybe they ate some Dextron. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like it might have been something more tactical and less uh, consumable, but. Let's shoot. I mean, who knows? Was this another goal? This was a really good shot. What? I did not see this shot because the there's a monitor right in front of my view, but. Why I don't we proud. move so much to the left? Yeah, I mean, we could uh, technically move. This is a good call. I sometimes do that. Not too often, though. People get used to see, it. See, they're pulling back in. This is why I said cold catching is not. Not always good. And I would say in a match like this. Maybe not, but also we're already in six, 26 minutes. This is true, this is true. But I mean, look at the score. They are pulling their way back to snitch range. I wouldn't, uh, personally, I also wouldn't do it. But if I was a player on that field, I would be dying. <laughs> I would be dying, but I would be dying so happily. I'm also dying right now of hunger. I'm so sad. I haven't lunched yet. Sorry, people. It's a yellow card to Slovenia number one for disrespecting referees. Somebody was naughty again. Naughty, naughty. Disrespecting referees. David, how dare you? It's like, if there is one thing that I will not condone on a pitch, whatever you do, you will respect your referees. They are trying their very best to remember all of the rules. Please, whatever you do, respect them. On the other hand, it can happen in the heated moment, but please don't do it. Right, please yes. Please try to control yourself, but control very your fair emotions. Cards. Always Ooh. card. Is. Oh, we'll see another goal! That's it, swim again, excitement! The Czechs! Oh, I do love the Czechs and their surprises. See, this is what... Bisha gave them probably a very fired up speech. Right, right. Or any of their other players. I am just so proud of them. Oh yeah, their coaches aren't that Misha, Jan and Aneska. Oh, three coaches. Three coaches, I mean... I guess the, the three of them combined managed to, to talk them back into something that we can call successful. Yeah, that wasn't a pass. What was Ooh. That? that? Ooh, but that was a beautiful detail. Right. I mean, a pass like that uh, in our team, we call it a hospital pass, because you give the, the oppos opponent so much time to run to your, to, your, to your receiver and tackle them down hard that they might just end up in hospital. Yeah, that's... I mean, but then there was, it didn't happen, but I mean. And still, the Beezer game is still going on strong. Do they ever get tired? I guess these Eastern Europeans never get tired. Or Middle Europeans, maybe. Middle Europeans? I have been told off by, uh, by I think, a Czech guy. That the Czech is, aren't Eastern Europeans, they're Middle Europeans. They're Middle Europeans, yes. Okay. Middle and Eastern Europeans on or the pitch central. Then. No, Central. Middle European was also wrong. Yes, because I should not compare him to hobbits. <laughs> I remember this vividly now. This was two years ago when I had a housemate uh, from around this area. Central Europeans. Apologies to all of our Central Europeans out there. Let's go back to the game. But the Czechs do have a... Oh, there was a brooms down? I think this was a catch. Oh, this is a catch by Slovenia. I completely missed this in my giant insult to all Central Europeans. But we can say now that the Czechs kind of like personality are like hobbits. They're very nice. And they eat right. a lot. Yes. They are very, and this is true. Um, I mean, is this catch good? I have no idea. I was very busy apologizing to like all our Central Europeans there out there. There were a lot of beaters in front of the snitch. So right. I didn't see it. <laughs> might make it difficult. I guess we'll see what the ref says. There's a hug for the snitch. Is this a, I'm sorry, you have to do this again hug? Or is this a, good job, but you got caught hug? I don't know what kind of hug it was. Maybe it was a, hey, you're also here, hug. I mean, those hugs are also nice. All hugs are good, yeah, as long as they're consensual. I know that some snitches kind of in the heat of the moment forget who their head ref is. Right. And the oh, catch is good. The catch is good. Congrats, Slovenia. Yeah. I mean, this game, game was very, very close. Right, yes. I mean, they eventually caught in swim, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was in swim in the end. I am very proud of both teams. I do think the stronger team won here, though. Yes. Slovenia has shown that if with very few people, you can come very far. It's very impressive, yes. I mean, in a, in five more minutes, if they hadn't caught... Oh, oh it yeah, was, was a beautiful catch. Super <laughs> clean, yeah. I mean, with five more minutes, I think maybe the Czechs would have been the stronger ones again. But... I, I I'm very sad that the Czechs kind of mellowed. I right. don't know. Also, their beater game was less intense. I, I don't know. But hey... Looking forward to playing both these teams. Right, yes. I mean, you will be playing with, this, uh, with these teams next, so... Yeah, and Slovenia again on live stream. Catch nice. us there. Yeah, well, 
Um, this was everything from us. We're passing this on to an analyst desk in uh, a couple of minutes. So thank you for listening. This was Anamika. And this was Kayla. And uh, yeah. This were the European Games. Go <laughs> no. grab a, a bottle of water, some uh, food maybe, and then in a couple of minutes you can be back from some analysis. And we are back. So, Helen, how do you think that game went? Um, I think it was really interesting. Um, I think by the end of it, it definitely showed that Slovenia just needed to have a bit of a bigger team. If it went on longer, then, yeah, that could have been turned out very differently. But I really liked it. I think my favorite moment was probably right at the start of the game when one of the Czech Republic players, I'm sorry, I don't know any names, he just got the quaffle, he was a chaser, and he just yeeted, yeeted himself through a hoop. Um, <laughs> And I thought that was probably my favourite bit, aside from all the beta play. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I think fatigue was a big part. Towards the end, the teams, the team with the less players didn't look as strong, and Czech Republic started to get back into it, but not to be. Yeah, I, th I gotta say, like in the end, it seemed to me like Slovenia was gonna like throw this game away because uh, Czech uh, Republic was coming closer and closer. And to my opinion, Slovenia should have like ended that game like a long time ago and put it out of reach a little bit further because they seem to be putting their stamp on this game early on. I think they ruled the beating game in the early times, as, unless like number 97 of Cenk played. I think then the beating game was kind of equal, but I think Slovenia had it a bit easier on offense with their strong drivers. I think it was um, Logic. You, you just couldn't stop this guy. As soon as he like got some speed, he just went straight through. See, I think one of the weaknesses from both teams was that they did struggle a little bit with tackling. like and a little bit yeah. of spatial awareness. What would happen is someone would call out no beaters, especially on the Czech Republic side, and so their team would just start surging forward, but they wouldn't realize that there was a Slovenian beater behind them, and they would just keep getting beat. So I think both teams needed a bit more spatial awareness, and both teams needed a little bit more tackling as well, just because so that way they can commit to those drivers and keep drives and keep going. And yeah. Yeah, I want only want to make one exception. I think Borut Boskovšek, number 33, yeah. he has an impeccable taking. He brought down so many people in the defense. Yeah. Played really good yeah. game. And I kind of wanted to ask you guys, um, like, because uh, Helen, you're from Australia and you're from the UK, and we know that like culture of refing is different all around the world. I thought there was some strict refing. I mean, of course, uh, both teams made it easy for the refs to give him these calls by some, let's say, interesting decision making, like <laughs> disrespecting the referee and like some high arms on the tackles. But I thought it was this kind of strict uh, implementation of the rules. How do you think? I think it's always good to be strict with the rules. Um, with newbies in Australia, sometimes we're a little bit easier on them. Um, but most of the time, if you do something wrong in Australia, if you've got a competitive ref there and they see it, you're going back to hooves, you're getting the card, you're getting whatever punishment you deserve. And like in Australia, we definitely do try to respect our refs as much as we can. So back chatting them is a bad idea. <laughs> so just ask Nat Asselos. She will destroy you if you back chat her. I yeah, love her to bits. The head ref for this game was Lauren Sterry, who's from the UK. I think I've refed with her. I've refed um, as she's refed my game. She's a by the, re by the book ref, right? Yeah, very much so. She'll give you warnings, but eventually that patient does wear thin, especially with back chat. You can't really be disrespecting refs in this day and age anymore. Yeah. Um, so, yes, is there any other thoughts from the game? How do you think the teams going forward, what, because obviously they both struggled apart, yeah. how do you think they need to change their game to improve going forward? Okay. Oh, sorry. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. Um, I think with Slovenia, they just need to have quick games, get as many goals as they can, as quickly as they can, get it out of snitch range and get that catch and the catch sooner. Um, with the Czech Republic, I think, they definitely came into bloom in the late game. That's when they really started thriving. I think for both, I thought that um, Slovenia, ha their beaters communicated a lot better than um, Czech Republic. So Czech Republic, maybe a bit more communication between your beaters. But 
at the end of the day, I couldn't take my eyes off number 97. <laughs> that was some beautiful plays. Yeah, uh, I can say for Slovenia, I think it's uh, they maybe should like think about stacking up the minutes of board and sluggish because when uh, both of these guys said the offense kind of grinded to a halt, and for the Czech Republic, I would just like guys uh, stop the slow and high passes in the keeper zone. There was a lot of time to get these interceptions ready and cost you dearly. Sometimes you were close to getting that goal, but uh, sometimes not. And for both teams, maybe look for more of your female chases. I saw some good placement there, and sometimes, of course, the passes were a bit high, and sometimes the passes didn't come at all. Look for your female chases. They're there for a reason. They can supplement your offense as well. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. And I think Czech Republic could probably commit more to your drives. Just keep going forward no matter what, because um, sometimes they would stop halfway through their drives, and that's when um, Slovenia would really jump on that opportunity. But I think both teams are going to do great things. Yes, a lot of the time they'd be driving through and then they'd see a chaser in front of them and they would yeah. then get hesitant. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. And what you've got to do is you've got to run at that chaser, take the tackle, but make sure you pass it off. So you need to have the support chasers to kind of on the wings that you can pass it off to as being distribution options for. I think both teams have like some room for improvement, but the tournament is early. And I think that was like one of the more suspenseful games we had yet on our live streaming. Oh, so it far. was great to watch. <laughs> it was very I close to most of it. Oh, yeah, it so was. And I just loved the bit where just Czech Republic just started catching up at the end. That was great. Yeah, we looked, we saw Boric have a bit of a nervous look, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Is there any other final thoughts? Got anything? Um, I'm wondering how these people like stack up in the uh, in the Sunday games when like teams are like more evenly matched. Mm. And I'm wondering like where the paths go. I think these teams actually could like meet up ever again in like similar spotting. And I'm wondering uh, which team can like learn more from their mistakes in this I game. I think if they met up again, then I would put money on Czech Republic just oh, because right. I think the biggest killer for Slovenia is just going to be they have such a small squad and that can be a really tough in a hot two day tournament. I know it is in Australia like the small teams. If the, if you've got a two day tournament, you're gr you're gonna be dead by the end of it. Everyone's dead, but the small teams, because um, at one stage number thirty four was the seeker, and they was they were doing their thing, and then they ran off, and they came right back on as a beater. And towards the end, the keepers, the chasers, they would just put their hands on their knees and just take big breaths because they're not getting breaks. Yeah. So. So where do you guys where do you think they'll come for Slovenia? Where do you think they'll finish overall? That's a really good question. I have no idea. I don't know enough about European Quidditch. I don't claim to know that much either. So all I know is that UK is really good. <laughs> Ish. Um, UK, France, and Germany, they're all really good. And Belgium. Uh, but that's about all I know. <laughs> Well, uh, when I was talking to my friends like earlier in this uh, game, I, I had Czech, I think, second to last. I have to maybe readjust the thing. Mm. I think we'll place like two or three seats higher. Oh. In Slovenia, I had them like in the 14, 15th, and I think I'll stick with that. So 14, 15 for Slovenia and about 17? 17, yeah. And maybe if they have a good second day, they can surprise me all the more because Czech do put up some good fights in that game. I would swap that around, I reckon. Ooh. Yeah. So you, think for, you think fatigue will uh, hit Slovenia? Yeah, I do. <laughs> we we'll see, we'll see each other tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> all right, yeah. Loser so buys the other a drink. All right. Ooh, that, all that's right. better. That's, that's better. All right. <laughs> yeah. So all right. I've been Geo. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so you say your name. <laughs> I was Philip Stort. <laughs> and that was Helen Glover. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, stay around. We've got our final part of our analysis that Philip and I were doing. So check it out.